Hello YouTube. This is another recording for RSA 2023 um, held in San Francisco. And what we're going to do in this video is we're going to automate web application security policies. And so the policies actually belong in a GitHub repo. And so if we take a look here, I'm going to be, I'm going to be using a policy that, that exists already. And this is a OS ready template or an OS ready policy. And so this policy is already being configured. And the one that I'm going to use here is potentially I can use a couple of these. I can use an auto tune policy. And so, so what actually happens is if you think about this, this would actually be a policy, a security policy that you actually have within Bitbucket or within GitHub. And your security administration, your SecOps, your, your organization that manipulates these web application policies, or you just use a ready policy, um, and then you can fine tune that policy. So what's really cool about that is that the policy is, is, is really maintained um, through GitHub, and you commit, you can commit changes, you can rev this policy. If for example, here's version 1.1 policy. And then when you're ready to um, attach or associate or pull that policy, that is when you um, execute a declarative API call to Big IP to consume that policy. And so that, that's what we're doing here. We're using automation to configure the Big IP and associate the correct policy, pull the correct policy. So let's take a look at, at how we do that declaratively. So we, we, we have a very simple declaration and I'm gonna post this declaration in the YouTube description below. So you'll be able to see this and then you can pull this, you can pull this configuration and you can very simply execute this. So you can see this configuration is actually pretty simple. It's, it's basically 50, 54 lines of text. And um, I'm going to actually make a little bigger here. So it's already 175%. Uh, so you can see here, wh what I'm actually going to do is create a tenant on the big IP. I just specifically for this, this is going to be the name of my application. Um, this is a very simple HTTPS based application. So as you can see, there's HTTPS, there's my virtual. Um, I am basically saying that a communication between the client and Big IP is over TLS, and um, I want Big IP to do the redirect. Um, I have associated or declared a pool with a couple of pool members in there. That's five pool members, and that's why you see that. What, what I'm doing is I am doing edge TLS decryption, so terminating the um, request, um, looking for a, uh, a URI. And the reason why that is because I am invoking a WAF policy. So this WAF policy that I'm doing here, in the, this is actually the WAF policy. Now, this is just a name. And so this is basically saying use this name. And where I get this policy from is I pull the policy from GitHub. Now, this is really cool because at this point, any time that there's a change in the policy, um, we can actually say ignore changes, or you can actually go and get updated changes. That, that, that That's up to you, and that's how AS3 works. But what AS3 will do is it will actually pull this policy down and configure this system. So let, let's go ahead and, and actually show you that here as part of this demo. So you can actually see if I go to Big IP right now, I have no... I have no tenant, and so the tenant is not there. And so if you actually look at the configuration, you can actually see it's 57 lines. I've made it a little smaller just because it's kind of easy to read. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to post this configuration to my my big IP, and you can actually see it posting. Um, you can actually see the declaration is posting here, so it won't take very long for this to show up on the big IP itself. You can see there is the conference right here. What, what it's actually doing, it's created the tenant. It's actually pulling down the configuration from GitHub. And so that will, that you can see it's actually pulled down. There is the virtual, there is the security. You can see there, right there is the policy that has been associated and we're logging all requests. And if you actually go to 
the WAF policies itself, there might be a couple of policies in here. You can actually see there is actually this policy that was actually pushed down specifically for this virtual server and when it was invoked. And you can kind of see the compliancy there um, to see if if anything's kind of happening. So just by just by posting that and, and actually how I'm posting that is I'm actually using VS Code. And within VS Code, I have this extension here, this big IP extension right here. So you can actually see what you can actually see what it actually did there is it actually pulled within this log, it actually did a an, a quick update of actually pulling the task. So you can see how it pulled the task. You can see what I'm doing there is I'm just pulling it so you can you can almost kind of see the 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 entire configuration. If you really want to, I could actually expand this entire tenant. You can see how it's expanding the tenant there. Show expanded. You can see the expanded view. You can see how now it's got the cookie because it's with expanded view, it doesn't hide all the defaults. So if you wanted to see what all the defaults were, because if you notice my monitor was actually pretty small, you could actually see in my monitor, there's a lot more options right there. You can go and change these options now, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So it's, it's, it's actually kind of cool to, to use this integration, to do this, just download um, download this extension right here, the F5 extension. This is the version that I'm using. It's just an extension. You can actually search for it. If you actually do, you can actually see it right here. It's installed. Uh, that's iRules right there. There's the extension right there. So that's what I'm doing. I, I really like it. It makes my life so much easier because I can simply just manipulate this file and then right click and then repost, right? That's what I'm doing. So what I did there is I created a virtual with with the an HTTPS virtual, you can see it right there. Um, there is the redirect. And so what I should be able to do is hit that application and you can see there, there is the application. I can then change that application as well. And it's actually very simple here to to actually cross site script this as well. So you can actually see there, I, I, I just sent a cross site script uh, simple attack right there. You can actually see that's the attack right there. And if I go to Big IP to take a look at the error logs, um, I should be able to see these logs um, within the request. You can actually see it right there. And there was the denial right there. Um, attack signature detected. It tells me what signature it was. It was a cross site scripting attack. Um, and it basically rejected it right there. You can see, you can see that's the that's the um, attack signature type, and so that's what was rejected based on that string. And so that 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 in itself is actually really cool. If we actually go to this policy, application security, it might increment. Uh, it doesn't actually increment. That's just compliance. But um, so that that right there is a very simple demo of how you would use automation to configure Big IP and associate the policies to your configuration. So we created the virtual and we associated this policy. And to do that, we actually used um, AS3 to do that. And so that's what this, that's what this declaration is showing. So if I, if I wanted to make any changes, I can simply just go to VS Code and make a change here. I could change anything I want. I could add more pool members if I wanted to. I could also, what I could also do is rev this policy. So for example, if this is a 1.2 here, I could actually just rev this and then repost this back and it will pull down the, the next version. And that means that out of band security, the security teams can update and maintain those policies and when they're ready to be consumed a automated pipeline could actually pick up this this policy uh, pick up this AS redeclaration and post it and that's what I wanted to show you um, using F5 big IP with AS3 configured and how it's able to deploy uh, policies for advanced WEF Thank you very much.